Paratech has been proudly servicing the emergency services, civil defense agencies, and industrial fields with quality rescue equipment for over 35 years. Through our experience and innovations, together with cutting edge technology, we brought you some of the very best American-made CLAMPS rescue support tools. One such rescue system has evolved from our rescue strut line of equipment, the Paratech Longshore System. This system allows you to construct tripods, vertical shoring, horizontal shoring, as well as raker shoring. All longshore components have been third-party tested to meet or exceed USNR requirements, allowing you to quickly and safely handle damage due to earthquakes, floods, lightning strikes, hurricanes, tornadoes, construction accidents, trench collapses, and structural fire damage. Paratech Longshore components are manufactured from hard coat gold anodized aluminum for long life, while manual and pneumatic operation are identical to Paratech rescue struts. The Longshores included in your kit also accept all bases and attachments you may already have for your rescue struts. Longshore maintenance is also similar to our rescue struts. Simply wash the components with water after every use and check the rubber o-ring and seal on the piston end of the Longshores. If the O-ring or seal is damaged, simply remove and replace as needed. Take the time to check and maintain the connection of the raker rails and the raker rail splice. File or sand any burrs or imperfections that may have occurred during rough handling to ensure smooth assembly of the rail. In this general step-by-step -step video, we will show you the 6-foot Paratech deployable raker system. Paratech offers both 6-foot and 8-foot deployable raker systems. All components of the 6-foot system are 6-foot or smaller in length. All components of the 8-foot system are 8-foot or smaller in length. Which system you choose is simply a matter of preference. Both kits accomplish the same support. As you will be able to see, there requires almost no measuring. Simply assemble the proper pieces together. Paratech offers a standard wooden container for all raker kits, and a custom aluminum container is also available at an additional charge. Once you receive your new kit, lay the pieces out and become familiar with the different styles and lengths of the various components. Familiarize yourself with the load capacity chart applied to every longshore and the raker load chart applied to every section of raker rail. Inspect for damage and or missing pieces, recording information on the registry and warranty card provided. By completing and returning the registry and warranty card, your organization is placed in our files and notified on important information concerning your equipment. All components of your kit carry a five-year warranty on materials and workmanship. Take some time with your group and complete the following steps to become familiar with the Paratech Raker system. You will find the Paratech Raker system much quicker and easier to install than traditional wooden rakers. Warning. This is not intended as an instructional or training video. Please consult the operational, preventative maintenance, and parts support manuals for additional instruction. First, pick a suitable spot close to the area to be shored, but out of the way of any possible collapse danger. You must have a safe area to pre-construct the raker system out of the way of the damaged and leaning wall. The safety of the rescue personnel is the top priority. Second, make sure the area is big enough and relatively level. This will help speed the assembly and make it easier to put the components together. An area approximately 20 feet by 20 feet would be large enough to assemble the raker system comfortably. Your first priority is to determine the raker shore insertion point. This will determine the length of the raker rail. The raker rail should extend at least 12 inches past the raker shore insertion point. For example, if your insertion point is 10 feet high, you would use two 6-foot raker rails spliced together. The first procedure for the assembly of the raker system will be to lay out the raker rails. Lay them out in line with each other parallel to the wall to be shored. At this time, we will splice the rails together using the raker splice plate. Slide both rails into the splice, listening for the pins to lock into place. Give the rails a slight tug at this point to make sure the locking pins are fully engaged. Next, place the raker rail latch bases onto the assembled rail. Place the upper base at your insertion point and place the bottom base into either the bottom hole or one hole higher off the ground. 
When inserting the latch bases, you should insert the solid pin into the rail as you pull the spring-loaded pin back. When the spring-loaded pin is aligned with the hole, you can release the pin. At this time, determine the length of the shores and extensions you'll be using. Do this for both the sole shore as well as the raker shore. Place the extensions in the latch bases first. Align them on the approximate angle of the raker. Extensions must be installed directly into the latch bases. Insert the shores into the extensions at this time. Lock them in place, making sure the pistons of both shores face down to the base of the raker. Align the shores so they intersect at the base at this time. The system should now be in the shape of a triangle. Pull the pistons out until the shores are almost touching each other. Keep the sole shore at right angle to the raker rail as much as possible. Place the raker junction base onto the two shores. The swivel end of the fitting will go into the raker shore and the fixed end will be assembled to the sole shore. It must be assembled this way in order to work properly. Now place the hinged base plate onto the swivel end of the raker junction base to complete the assembly of the raker. Place the assembled raker against the wall in question, making sure the rail contacts the wall at the base and at the raker insertion point. If necessary, pad out the wall to accomplish this. Set the hinged base plate flat on the ground, tighten the locking collars on the sole shore and the raker shore. Anchor the raker to the ground at this time by driving at least two one-inch thick steel pins through the holes provided in the base plates. The handle on the base should face the wall to allow the angle plate to fit properly when appropriate. You can also utilize the raker base angle if you want to install a 6x6 piece of lumber for additional support. The angle plate will keep the base plate from sliding under the lumber when force is applied. Now, anchor the raker rails to the wall, utilizing the holes provided. Depending on the type of wall, you can use nails, bolts, and or pins. There are openings in the raker rails to accept these anchors. At this time, re-tighten the locking collars on the shores if necessary to establish firm contact with the wall in question. It is important that the raker rails have full contact with the wall to be shored. Take care not to over-tighten the locking collars as you attempt to support the wall. Over-tightening may cause secondary collapse. Always place a minimum of two rakers into position. One raker is not laterally stable enough to do the job. After the second raker has been assembled and installed, you must cross brace the assembly. To do this, you will use the four raker brace clamps included in your kit. Place the brace clamps on the raker shores at this time. Place two clamps close to the raker rail latch, approximately 12 inches down from the raker rail. Place the other clamps down near the base plate onto the threaded end of the raker shores again approximately 12 inches up from the bottom of the raker connections. Nail your 2x6 horizontal bracing in place at this time using 16 penny nails. Next, nail your 2x6 cross bracing in place. Each intersecting point is to be nailed with 5 16 penny nails. Your Paratech raker system is now finished. Warning! Reverse the process and remove your Paratech raker system only after the permanent shoring has been installed according to your department standards. Paratech is a firm believer that continual practice and training on your systems through your department's procedures and guidelines is a must. All members of your team need to become familiar with the components, bases, accessories, and how they fit together. If you have any questions at all, we have dealers, local representatives, and the factory to support you. No matter what the question is, we'll get it answered for you. We want everyone who has the potential to use our equipment to become comfortable and knowledgeable on how to use it. So when the call comes, everyone is prepared and ready to go. For a complete list of quality professional training organizations, please contact Paratech.